What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to open up RAR files here in your Mac operating system. In my case, I've gotten here a RAR image or in other words, an image which has been compressed into a RAR file and I'll be showing you how you can actually open up the specific RAR file. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tech hacks. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now, before we move into the video, I would like to let you guys know why actually do people share files in RAR format while it can't be directly opened, right? So we've got basically two main reasons for this to happen. And the main one is because when people compress a specific file into a RAR or a zip format file, they actually end up saving space in here, okay? So the main concept is, for example, if someone wants to upload the 10 gigabytes file or a movie, they most likely are going to compress it and then that specific size will decrease from 10 gigabytes, for example, all the way to seven or six. So you save up a lot of storage by compressing your files and you can easily upload and download by saving time and your internet data if you have a limited internet connection. Now, the second option, now the second reason why people do this is because they don't want to corrupt the file because when they actually keep it in RAR format, it's as if they're packaging their specific file. For example, imagine you've got a glass and you want to keep it inside a box, right? So whenever you move that specific box from one location to the other, you less likely are going to break that specific glass, right? Same thing happens when you're uploading a file, for example, to the internet or downloading it you actually run risks of corrupting your file if your internet suddenly uh, cuts or there's a connectivity issue, you most likely may corrupt your file. So if you have a RAR file, chances are less when it comes to corrupting your file. Now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial right here. So first things first, we need to open up App Store in here and we're going to download a specific application or software that is gonna help us unzipping or unraring that specific file depending on the file format so what i would recommend you guys to download is an app called izip okay this is an app that i've been using it for the past four years and it has been very robust without any bugs now you've got plenty of options in here we've got unzip we've got best zip and many others in here specific rar and zip extractors in here this for example is a good one because it's specific a rar one but i'll be sticking to izip archiver as this is the one that i've been using and i do recommend you guys to use now all you need to do is simply tap here on get or on this little arrow in here because i've downloaded it in the past tap on it once and the download should start in a few seconds now once the download gets completed uh, you'll be able to launch iZip Archiver and you'll be able to see the open option in here. Now, the download was so fast because this is a very small software with only 3.6 megabytes of size. Now, what we're going to be doing is tap here on open. Let me close my app store and then welcome to iZip. Let me close it. Here we go. We now do have iZip in here. Let me quickly close iZip and all you need to do in here is find out the RAR file, tap on open, open with and select iZip as a default app to open up this specific RAR file. Now, if you did not see iZip in here, do not worry, simply tap on other. This will take you to the applications folder and over here, you'll be able to see many apps. All you need to do is find out iZip in here and tap on open, okay? Next up, your RAR file will be opened in here and you'll be able to see all the content that you have inside this specific RAR file. In my case, I've got in here this image in here and you can simply open it up by double tapping or you can actually extract it from here so you can select tap on extract the specific selected items for example if we had more files in here you could select multiple files and tap on extract the specific ones or you can simply tap on extract all to extract all files available inside the specific rar file now, I would recommend you guys to go with Extract All, and this is so easy. Next up, you just need to select the destination. In my case, I'll be going with Desktop, 
tap on select folder and then the extract process has been completed as you can see this is the file in here that we've extracted from this raw file let me double tap on it here we go it's this image right here that I've extracted, which is a sample from this specific RAR file. Now, if by any means you're unable to actually open up the App Store or to download the iZip app here from the App Store, do not worry, I'm gonna show you a different way of actually downloading and installing it to your device. Okay, so before we do that, let me quickly, for example, uninstall iZip in here just to show it to you guys the second way of installing it okay let me uninstall iZip okay it's open let me close it here we go let me quickly uninstall iZip iZip has been uninstalled from my computer right we still have this okay it has vanished and we're good to go so the second way of doing this let me delete this is by going straight to your internet browser in my case i've got google chrome in here Next up, head all the way to Google and then type here iZip Mac. Tap on enter and you want to make sure you head straight to this website which is simple iZip.com. Here we go. This is the website. This is how your website should look like. Next up, simply tap here on download free. You need to select your operating system in here in case of a Mac OS. Now, they only have up to Mac OS Catalina and if you have a much newer operating system, simply select the latest operating system. I'll be going with macOS Catalina because I have a much recent operating system. Tap on download now and here we go. Download has been completed. You just need to double tap on this DMG file in here. Let me close my browser. Here we go. Next up, just need to drag and drop iZip to applications and then it's already installed. Let me close iZip. As you guys can see, I've opened up my launch pad and here we go. We've got iZip right here simply tap on iZip to open it once once this is done tap on open again close and here we go once this is done we're gonna close the app and then right click on image.rar open with iZip and here we go our file is now here and here we go our file is now here next up simply extract it to your desktop easy as it is file has been extracted here we go the image is now here with us now please note that you can also extract zip files and not only rar files with izip you can actually extract different types of formats and you can also create rar as well as zip files for example if you have a file that you wish to reduce the size you can create a new archive in here tap on plus add that specific file in here and create a new rar or zip file as well there's also this option of encrypting here but unfortunately, it's a feature that you need to pay for in order to add passwords to your specific RAR or zip file. And then you'll be able to lock it and only people with the password will be having access to that specific RAR or zip file. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. And if you find my content useful, consider subscribing, like the video and leave a comment down below. If you have any query, do leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll make sure I reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.